a silly recipe that I developed when I was living in the East Village in New York with my little brother. And I don't know why I decided to make sunshine cookies, but they happen. And there's something I've been wanting to make since then. We're going to be coloring them with something that is all natural and is actually anti-inflammatory. And they're gluten-free and dairy-free. So let's make these things. First, you're gonna start by mixing your wet ingredients. You're gonna mix in your coconut oil, your agave nectar, so it's actually low glycemic, and two eggs. Now add a little bit of lemon zest, like a half of a lemon's worth. This just makes their flavor match their color. Put that aside. Now we're gonna mix together our dry ingredients. So that would be brown rice flour, sorghum flour, and arrowroot starch, which is gonna make these really malleable since we wanna cut them into actual forms. I'm also gonna add a pinch of salt. And give it a whisk. Now we're gonna do the classic cookie compilation. Add your dry ingredients into your wet. Color them. We're gonna add our turmeric, secret ingredient. Makes everything yellow. Roll these cookies out. Cut them out into little circles. And if you want to give them little sun rays, you can take your extra dough, roll it out into a long, long log. Flatten it. And then cut it into little rays. So now I've melted some very dark chocolate over a bain marie. And I'm gonna give my Sunshine cookies, there are sunshine faces. Bake them at 350 degrees for about 10 to 12 minutes. So these are like the cutest little not sad cookies ever. If you're wondering why we made small pieces, it's to turn it into a sun, of course. Ta-da! You've got sunshine and it's a cookie and it's gluten-free and you can eat a lot of them because they're super light. So enjoy. Um, check out Bubble Child on Tastemade Snapchat Discover. I've been doing a lot of recipes on there. It's been super fun. Thanks for subscribing and happy sunshine. Cheers.